James Worldwide Watson here for another episode or fact or fish story. You got one story that's fact and one's a fish story and I gotta sniff out which one you're aligned to me on. You're saying I can only have one fish story? I mean, I've been fishing for 20 years, James. I got lots of fish stories. You do. Most of them successful. <laughs> but we're gonna hear about one that's made up. All right, I'm gonna tell you both the stories. Okay. You have to figure out which one's fact okay. or fiction. Okay, all right, I gotta set the stage for you. I got a story about a prank on my brother-in-law. Okay. And I have got one of my biggest all-time fish that came up and ate a crappie. Come up and ate a crappie. Sam Rayburn, in okay. the fall, back early 2000s. I'm practicing for a, uh, an event, and uh, man, this is back before the forward-looking sonar and all that stuff. And I'm lined up on this brush hop pile, man. I throw my old crankbait out there, and whack, I catch like a three-pounder. Pretty excited. Throw out there again, catch another one like a four pounder. Throw out there again, and then this I was like, man. Now, is this map map time before GPS and crap? Like no, you're I triangulating? Had, I, had, I had GPS, had a okay. waypoint, you okay, know, okay. but it, it was okay. It's not like as good as we got now. Okay. Throw it back out there, man. I'm I'm reeling one in, and it's like, man, that ain't a I don't know, it's like a leaf or something. And then it comes up to the top and it's a crappie about that big. I get it like right there, like right there on the top. Cool Bruce! Monster bass. Monster. I weigh it. 10.09. He like swallowed the, it. The crankbait's up here, you know, the crappie's right here, and the crankbait's just got the back hook. He eats it all. And I land it. I couldn't believe it. It was like, it's one of my all time five biggest fish ever. 10.09. Wow. Big fish. Dang. Yeah. That's a good one. So, uh, all right, that's believable. Yeah, I've seen this happen before. Okay, the landing them part is a part that I would struggle with because I've had bass come up and swallow a whole nother bass before, and yeah. it's hard to get them in. Yeah. All right, so here's here's another story. <clears throat> All right, I used to travel with my brother-in-law. Yep, Terry Butcher. I know Terry. And uh, you know we like to play a lot of pranks. And we're down in florida and uh you know you're down there in florida and you throw a top water you throw anything an alligator will eat it yeah well I, I i catch an alligator on a buzz bait and it's it's one about that long and it's kind of towards the end of the day and i flop that old alligator over in the boat and i just leave him down there in the floor you know and and this is back in the day when we camped i had a cab over camper he had a cab over camper and uh, I get back, and, and, and I wanted to make sure I got back in a little bit before he did. And, you know, we, we never locked our campers, ever. I mean, we just didn't. And uh, I go, and I take that alligator, and I stick it in his bathroom. You know, and them, them cab over campers, your bathroom is basically the size of this chair. It's a toilet, it's a shower, and it's a sink. All in one. All in one. All right. So then, you know, you fast forward, well, sure enough, my brother-in-law fishes like 30 minutes past dark. He must stop and get something to eat. You know, I'm itching for him to get there. <laughs> so I go and I sit in his camper and we're going over the day and, uh, you know, drinking a few cold beverages. And I'm like, man, surely he's got to go to the bathroom sometime or another, you know. And, and that bathroom's pretty quiet. I don't ever hear nothing in there. And uh, sure enough, he finally goes to the bathroom. <laughs> And like he comes jumping out of there, like, you know, and like the instant he stepped in there, that thing hissed at him. And uh, yeah, I put an alligator <laughs> in my brother-in-law's bathroom. I'm gonna go with the first story is a fish story. And the fact is you did that to Terry. I can believe you you're, doing that. You're 100% right, dang it. Yeah, I thought I yes, had you. got it, nailed it. Dang well, it. both of them are very believable. I tried to sell it. What did I you do did, wrong? You, you didn't do anything wrong, except I kind of thought that bass, to me, the bass should have ate the whole crappie and somehow you got them. When I ask you if you actually hooked the bass with the treble hook, that's when, I, that's when it become unbelievable to me. Uh. Just out of experience. Well, I'm telling you, man, I'm like shaking here because I'm trying to lie to you, and I just, it's against <laughs> what I believe, so no. my heart's a pounding. No. I thought I did good. That was a good one, but uh, 
You got me. Sniff that out. I got you. you. you I did. got you. Just like a bloodhound. Yeah. You said you were a bloodhound. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do another one down the road here too. All right. You you're got to step it up one notch. I'll try. Maybe I'll try. maybe for I'm real. Not all I had right there, but yeah. I'll try. You're a terrible liar. <laughs> I'm not very good. No, you're not. Your wife must keep you in line. Yeah. <laughs> Join us next time on TeamGTFishing.com. Mm-hmm.